It is Read Across America Day. Now, that doesn't mean we should only read on this day. We can honor all the authors in America and throughout the world who write wonderful books for us to read. Dr. Seuss is always my favorite, but there's so many others that we can honor. Oh, hi, Purple Monster. I like to read stories. I know you do. Purple Monster and I love stories, both telling stories and reading stories. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, can you read the one about the pot and the cat? Oh, yes. I could read that one, but Purple Monster, I had another one I was thinking about today. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about this one? Leo the Late Bloomer. Yes, that's the one I'm going to read today. I kind of feel like Leo. Why do you feel like Leo? Because I, I had to learn so many things, and at first I wasn't so good at those things. Oh, uh, yeah, Purple Monster, I understand. That's for everybody to know. We can't always be good at everything on the first time we try it. So in this Read Across America Day, I'm going to share a book that I love by an author, Robert Krause. So Purple Monster, can I ask you to sit and rest right here? Okay, Purple Monster, you can rest right here, and then I'll call you back after you listen. So we're going to set him down and share the book with him. And Purple Monster's right there. Mm -hmm. Leo, the Late Bloomer by Robert Krause. Pictures by Jose Oluego. Oh, yes, this book used to belong to my son. It was one of his favorites. Oh, there's Leo. He doesn't look very happy, does he? Leo couldn't do anything right. He couldn't read. That can be hard for us to learn how to read. He couldn't write. Yeah, when we first learn how to write, we even have to learn how to hold the pencil. So sometimes we feel like we can't write at first and all we can do is scribble. And he couldn't draw. Mm. That's that scribble thing again, too. Looked like all of his friends were able to do those things. He was a sloppy eater. And he never said a word. His friends had words to say, like, hoo, hoo, thump, hiss, pip, and crunch. But not Leo. He couldn't figure out what to say. So his father came to him one day and said, Leo, what's the matter? What's the matter, Leo? And his mother said, oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Leo is just a late bloomer. Better late than ever, said his father. Every day, Leo's father watched him for signs of blooming. But Leo just had good time hanging out in the jungle. And every night, Leo's father watched for signs of blooming. The flowers are blooming. Father said, are you sure Leo's a bloomer? Ah, patience, said Leo's mother. A watched bloomer does not bloom. So Leo's father watched television instead of Leo. And the snows came and Leo's father wasn't watching, but Leo still wasn't blooming. He was playing and having a great time with his friends. While they made all these snow sculptures, Leo, Leo just ran around. The trees budded in the springtime. Leo's father wasn't watching. But Leo still wasn't blooming. He just watched. But 
one day in his own good time, Leo bloomed. And he could read. And he could write. And he could draw. And he ate neatly. He wasn't a sloppy eater anymore. He also spoke words. And it wasn't just one word, it was whole sentences. And his sentence was, what do you think it's going to be? I made it. Oh. I hope all of you are feeling like you're blooming and you're making it. Purple monster. Oh, that was really a good story. Yeah, sometimes I think I'm not making it and I'm not blooming. But did you see? In his own good time, Leo bloomed and he made it. Yep, that can happen, but we have to be patient. Yes, Purple Monster, thanks for sharing this book to me on Read Across America Day.